We're here with head coach Tim Clouse of the men's basketball program at Iona College. Coach, you had a full preseason of individual sessions and conditioning. Excellent. And on Friday, you were able to start full practices. Talk about what you've seen so far. I've seen a great effort by the players, both the returners and the newcomers, um, trying to play at a fast tempo, trying to work really hard in the defense and sharing the ball on offense and just learning the concepts of what we're going to be doing this year. Uh, the effort's been terrific. Return a great group of kids that won 21 games last year, the core of that 21-1 team, and then you also add a bunch of talented newcomers. Talk about if anyone stood out so far in the preseason and the practice. I wouldn't go specifics to any player, but I think for the majority of the players, their effort has stood out. I think the returners bring the effort level high and the expectations high, so the newcomers have to meet those expectations, and it has driven them to play even harder. So I'm very happy with what I've seen of both the returners and the newcomers. And lastly, real quick, you have about a month before our first contest, November 12th, at, out in Cleveland, Ohio, against Kent State. Talk about you guys, you know, not in specifics, but what you guys are going to be working on the next month to get ready for the I game. I think it all starts with defense. I think winning championships is about how you defend, and we have to start with that and how what kind of defensive team we're going to be, how we're going to play both their guards that are out there and the big guys that are out there. Uh, the teams that we're going to face out there are very good, so we're really kind of just trying to improve right now, and that's where our focus is going to be. Coach, we get a chance to see you guys at Midnight Madness or Maroon Madness this Friday night and then an open practice meet the Gales on Saturday morning. So good luck and we'll talk to you this season. Thanks very much, Brian.